What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? If you are going to spend tens of thousands of dollars on night vision like I did, I highly recommend you protect your investment and get yourself a nice helmet case, nice padded helmet case like this one from Ot Gear. Now, getting right into it, no nonsense. The outside of the bag is good to go. It's a 500D Kodura. If you don't know, 500D Kodura is very durable material, should last for a very, very long time. Of course, you have your patch panel on there, so you can buy a Tiberius patch, put it on there, and just look so darn cool on the front. Two carry handles, obviously, to carry it around. They are stitched extremely nicely. On the other side, you do have two uh, pull tabs to help zipper the back shot. I've also seen people uh, put a sling from this pull tab to the carry handle so they can sling the bag over their shoulder, especially if you are traveling that is a very, very good idea. The last thing I wanna talk about on the outside is going to be the zippers. Not only are the zippers high quality, they're smooth, they have a very, very good pull tab on them, and Adi Gear did a great job with the pull tabs. All right, before we get into the inside, I will be quick. Sponsor of the video is Prime Armor. Prime Armor, level three, level four, soft armor, plate carriers, they have all sorts of good stuff. It's not cheap junk. It's a really high-end gear at a, a very respectable price, and there's a discount code Tiberius. I've been repping them for a long time, tested them, used them. They are good to go. If you want to get some body armor, be prepared. I'm assuming if you have all the noodles and everything, you probably have body armor, or you should. Link and the discount code is down in the video description. All right, getting into the inside of this bag. Uh, very, very bright orange interior. Helps uh, locate it uh, when it's dark, which makes sense. I thought that was a very s uh, smart, slick idea. The padding all the way around is very, very nice. It's thick. Um, you know, I wouldn't suggest tossing the bag, but uh, if it gets bumped around or if it's in a suitcase or something, it definitely gives you a good amount of padding. Uh, on one side, you have some pockets, you know, we can put some batteries in there. You can put an umbrella light. You can put chem lights. You can put your cables for your comms. I don't have any cables because I don't have any friends to talk to, but if I did, that is where I would store it. On the other side is some Velcro, some hook and loop. So again, you could throw some patches there, a strobe light, whatever Velcro type material stuff you want to put on there, you'll be good to go. Uh, the helmet is kept in place by this Velcro strap. Um, it had the Velcro strap has some elasticity to it to, for different size helmets. And the other thing I did is when you take the helmet out, I'm testing this gas mask or a full face respirator, whatever, from Mira Safety. It's the CM8M and actually fit right up under the helmet um, in the bag and uh, it was good to go. That was nice. Um, the other pocket here, so you have this bright orange divider to keep the helmet separate from your noodles. And this separate little padded pocket here is, uh, is where you keep your night vision. Now this will fit either a single tube or a dual tube, either one will fit in here. It also has enough space to keep the mount from your helmet. If you noticed, uh, when you have the mount on your helmet, you can't quite zipper the bag. I'm lazy, I don't feel like taking the mount on and off every time, unless maybe I'm traveling or something. But just going back and forth to the range, I zipper the bag 95% of the way and I just leave it, it's fine, doesn't bother me. But, if you wanna put your night vision in here and the mount in here, it gives you uh, plenty of room to do so. So not only is there a hook and loop Velcro on the outside of the case, you know, for your cool guy patches again, but also on the bottom of this little case, there's hook and loop Velcro as well. And that's nice because at the bottom of the bag, there's also Velcro. Um, this way, when you open the bag, your uh, you know very, very expensive night vision doesn't go flying and break and you cry and your friends make fun of you. And that would just be so, so sad. All right, colors, multicam, black multicam, OD green, tan, poppies of war, which is the color you should probably get. And this one is gray. Uh, they're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't scream tactical bag. It doesn't scream that I have, you know, 10, 12 grand with the night vision in here. It's a uh, gray man-esque. I forgot the term, drawing a blank, that's okay. Dimension, 16 by 11 by seven, $200, made in the US. That's why it costs $200. I'm sure you can get a cheaper bag made in China or Vietnam or something, but this is made in the US. Sorry that my kids are yelling. And I will put some affiliate links down in the video description because I like this bag, I suggest this bag. If you want to get this bag, use those links, hook me up, 
maybe, hopefully I can find you a good deal. Testing is very straightforward. I've had this thing for a few months. I brought it back and forth to the range several times because I'm uh, testing that mirror safety mask and I wanted to wear the helmet and get used to wearing a helmet and a mask together. Not something I do very often as a civilian. And I only brought this bag to shoot uh, under uh, with my nods one time. I've been a loser lately. And I haven't been shooting um, night vision with my friends as much as I was, and I gotta get back out there. So I've only shot nods once in the past couple months, but I'm busy, what are you gonna do? Another thing I wanna call out and point out, the thing I like about it, because this um, bag comes out so easily for your night vision, I don't keep my helmet and all that stuff in my safe, but I keep my night vision in my safe. So what I do is I put my single tube in a Faraday bag. Faraday bag is if you have an EMP, it's gonna protect it. Um, night vision is a superpower and God forbid something like that ever happened. I want to be able to still use my night vision. So I, keep, I put the night vision tube in a Faraday bag, a Faraday bag in this case, in this case inside of my safe. And if when I, when I want to bring it to the range, I just take it out of the safe. I put it right there. I'm good to go. You get the point. Pros. All right. I've made in the States. I love, love, love that it's made in the States. Most sewn goods are not made in the States. It's nicely padded. Again, I wouldn't throw it across the room or trust TSA with it, but it is very, very nicely padded. I like the pocket layout. They give you some storage for some good stuff in there. Uh, I like the low viz. That was the word I was looking for. It doesn't scream tactical bag, $10,000 worth of goodies in here. You know, it's a, uh, it's very low viz. Uh, two things I don't love about the bag. One, there's nowhere to put gummy bears. Come on, art gear, we need a gummy bear pocket. That is a necessity in every bag. Um, seriously, I wish it was like an inch or two bigger, just a tiny, tiny bit bigger, so I didn't have to take that mount off my helmet when I put it in here if I want to zip it up all of the way. That's it, not a big deal, but that was, if I could change one thing, that would be the one and only thing. Overall, it's dope, it works well, I recommend it. I would spend my money on it. Um, again, if you're gonna drop five, 10, 20, whatever grand on night vision, spend a few extra bucks to protect it, to not let your nods break, that would just be very, very big sad. All right, affiliate links in the video description if you wanna hook me up, hopefully I can find you a good deal. Thank you to Audi Gear for sending me this. Like, Audi Gear, I'm a big fan. Art, Audi Gear, I don't know. I'm from New England, so I can say it however I want. But I have like, Three pairs of their pants, a couple pairs of their shirts, and uh, uh, what else? I forgot what else, but either way, Odd Gear makes some good, good stuff. If you're not familiar with them, check their website. They make some really cool stuff. Thank you to the sponsor of the video, Prime Armor. They've been sponsoring a ton of videos lately. You guys eat up that Prime Armor, Prime Armor discount code, and I love seeing it. First, I get a couple bucks, I'm not gonna lie, it's nice. You save a couple bucks, that's nice. But I love seeing people taking their preps seriously. Whether it be night vision or food or water, start with food and water, armor, whatever it is, make sure you're prepared because, man, country is getting crazy. Swag, I don't have my swag on, what did I do? I forgot to put my my Tiberius swag on, but we have, we have patches, we have shirts. If you wanna look cool, that is how you look cool. Link down below if you wanna support the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I have. I'm not gonna beg you for anything else. Most important, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. There's the dancing Santa. What side does he go on? I don't know. There's the dancing Santa. He says thank you. If you don't like this video and subscribe, he promised me you'll go on the naughty list. And I'll see you next time.